do when you look at history do you see what my high school history professor said man's call, called man's inhumanity to man do you see people treat, being treated well or poorly when you think of the Salem witch trials were they right or wrong when you look at the Nazi state after the economic collapse of the Weimar Republic, do you see that the, the Hitler treated people right or wrong? And it wasn't just exclusively Jews that he killed, supposedly. Um, when you look at Mussolini <clears throat> during the World War II period, was he kind to the Italian people? And what did he do to the people whom he decided, you know, were less important? When you hear from people who've, who were born in that generation, talk about the war, were the Japanese kind to the Chinese? when they invaded their land? Were the Russians kind to the Ukrainians when they took over that area? The Romanians? Is it possible you know of no society on earth, nobody from any society on earth where there's been oppression? Cuban, Cubans, Russians, Chechnyans, you know, Chinese, you've never met any of these people and none of them want to come here or someplace similar to here. So it's not enough to have all the money in the world. You know, we can see that through history. The people who gain power, well, hate to lose power, but also they seem discontented perhaps or at least <clears throat> they impose tyranny when you look at back back at, at United States history you see similar behavior with the King of England that his soldiers would just bust down a door and come walking in that people were hung without a trial. They just take them and hang them. So is it really hard to believe that the rich people of the world would not do the same thing? So, I guess that basically concludes my rationale, or at least a part of my rationale, my main rationale for believing, I suppose, that there is a group of people who just might enjoy, probably would enjoy, what would make them different from others who have ruled in the past. What would make them concerned about you? And we are told of world courts, G20s, G8s, Bilderberg Group, or Builder, yeah, you know, Bilderberg Group. We're told of world courts, international law. of European unions and African unions and Asian unions and you can look those up supposedly a Middle Eastern Union coming about a North American Union <clears throat> so they must think that there's something definitely wrong with where we stand today.
where we are today, that it must be changed. And we hear the leaders, and we hear Barack Obama saying it must be changed. Well, when this particular country was started, and England has ruled similarly, I, I believe, you know, I know what Canada has ruled similarly, and um, Australia has ruled similarly, uh, Israel has ruled similarly, um, probably several other countries. We didn't want to concentrate power on one person because we didn't trust them. 